Can you talk about the way your team uh, intensity uh, right from the drop of the puck and, and also Sorokin's early saves? Uh, sure. Um, you know, I thought we came out uh, with a really good uh, mindset. Uh, I'll tell you what, what a great atmosphere. I mean, it's hard not to uh, with, the, with the crowd. I mean, we they gave us some juice tonight. Uh, they were fantastic. So, uh, But I like the, the way we came out. We managed it. I thought we got off to a better start. Um, there wasn't much room out there on both sides. I don't, I don't think in that first period, uh, and in the second period, I thought we started we started getting our our little more traction, and obviously we scored the first goal, which is key for us. Um, in the last little while, we haven't uh, led very much, so uh, I just thought we did a really good job of managing the puck and and staying on top of them and, and doing a lot of good things. And Ilya, when he was uh, called upon, I thought he looked really sharp. Uh, uh, in net, it was a shame that we gave up a goal there uh, at the end. But uh, I thought he looked solid. Um, I thought our team played the the right way, and um, you know we were able to get a, a victory. Our power play was was huge after those exchanges where it was four and four, and then it went to uh, seven a power play, and we were able to capitalize. That was that was obviously a game changer for us. Go ahead, Anthony. How about overall de- defensively, especially against Sid, and but the way you guys been able to limit him. Well, you know, like he's he's such a great player that you know, like you say, limit him, and that's a, a, the best way that you can describe it. He's always going to get something. He's always going to create. He's always going to be uh, doing a lot of good stuff. So uh, we just have done a, a you know decent job, but uh, you know, he's got a, a level that uh, very few people in this uh, in this business have. Molly Walker, New York Post. Barry, would you say that was the most Islanders brand of hockey game you've seen in a while, even going back to the end of the regular season? Well, I think that's, and even last game, uh, other than the score and uh, that, but uh, yeah, it was more of an Islander type of a victory. I think it, both games really were just, it was the, the last game had some, some momentum swings, which uh, uh, we usually don't see that many when we're, we're on our game. So uh, we, we were working towards that and I thought we got close to it today. Ahead, and you had talked about figuring out how to play with the lead. Obviously, you guys did it tonight, but what was the message to the team to accomplish that? Well, I think stay aggressive. That's the, the you know that we that that's part of our DNA is to be be aggressive. And just because you have a lead doesn't mean that you sit back. I just think it, we, we want to be on our toes all the time. So that's that's my biggest message. Just make sure you make good decisions with the puck. Stay aggressive and and. Uh, Let's make sure that we, you know, keep things fresh and uh, be on the right side of people. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Yeah, Barry, the, the, the Penguins are talking about, you know, they know they need to be more disciplined, you know, in game five. But do you feel like, uh, you know, part of that was the way you were kind of coming at them at waves and, and, and you forced them into taking some penalties here today? Well, we're on the right side of, of, of the puck most of the, most of the night. So I felt that uh, when you do that, you know, you, you force people to, to get more on their toes or we possessed a little bit more, um, you know, all those things. And, you know, we, uh, you know, we, during the season, it's, uh, you know, we were the third least penalized team in the National Hockey League. I believe uh, if you look back, we're in that grouping. I know there's some games to be played at the end, but, but we don't take a lot of penalties generally because we're, we do have pretty good discipline. But Andrew, yeah, no, just just to be very clear, I was talking about the the Penguins' discipline, not yours tonight. But that that's fine. I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about their discipline. That's really not. That's more of a Sully question than than my. Yeah. I just well, worry about my own team. <laughs> um, you know, we we talked uh, about Barzell and Everly, and you know their their last game, and maybe you seeing signs of getting it going tonight. You know, I, I I thought one thing was you you had the waves of the four lines going. You know, you, you've talked previously about you know you had two lines going, maybe three. I, I thought it was it, it was balanced, and how huge was that for you guys tonight? Yeah, that was that was key for us. I mean, uh, you you had everybody engaged, and you had everybody contributing, and that was. Uh, you know, if you look at when we have success, everybody contributes, and that's we we rely on each other. There's a there's a great brotherhood in our in our room, and there's a style that we play, and everybody has a piece of uh, uh, of the big picture. So they they are all all four lines when they're 
you know, contributing and playing the right way and invested, then that that's when we have the best chance to win most nights. Arthur Staple, the athletic. Barry, uh, when you turn to your, your second goalie uh, after the games that, that Barley had, is this kind of the, the perfect response from Ilya where he was just really calm and kind of snuffed out a lot of different situations that might have gotten hairy? Yeah, well, I think, you know, Ilya's been through a lot of stuff, everything from, uh, you know, league championships in, in, a, in a very good league in the KHL. He's won it. He's been MVP. He's been, uh, you know, been in under the spotlight a lot and been in those big moments that, uh, you know, everything from world championships to you know, all those things. And so I think it's just his demeanor. He's not, uh, you know, he enjoys those moments just like Varley does. And um, so, you know, he's not a, a guy that is a pure uh, rookie coming into the NHL or into those a lot of these high pressure situations, he's had a lot of them just in different leagues. And, you know, as we've brought him along, um, I think he's just, you know, just feels very comfortable. Go ahead, Arthur. I know uh, it didn't affect the outcome, but when you see Barzi passing up uh, a couple of opportunities in a, in a tight game, you're just feeling like maybe a little bit more aggressiveness towards the net because there were some chances there for you that they kind of left on the table. Well, a little bit, and then I looked down at the sheet, and I think I saw that uh, uh, Matt had how many? He had uh, he had six six attempts. So you know he's he's shooting the puck. I, I just think when he has the opportunity, if he gets it, you know, he uh, he's so creative at times that sometimes that create, creativity, you know, he's looking. He doesn't shoot it, then someone has to jump into a hole, and he's looking for that, and then uh, you know you're one stick away or or, or one turnover away from. Uh, it going the other way. So, but he, you know, he, I thought he was, he played a real strong game today. Uh, I liked his compete. I liked his, he was dangerous. Um, I thought I liked his puck management, uh, his de uh, his defensive play. He was firm on, in all those battles and, and uh, he wasn't drifting. He was staying under the puck. So I, I liked a lot of the things that he did today. Brian Compton, NHL.com. Barry, it may not have been a, a highlight reel save that Ilya made on Kapanen in the first minute there, but was that big for the rest of the group just after what happened the previous two games? Thanks. Well, I think I, I think that just gave you know gave us uh, you know we have confidence in him, but I think it, the whole bench said, hey, that's you know he's dialed in, so we got to be dialed in too. So yeah, it, it no question. You know we it was nice to play with a lead for once in this series. We haven't done that a whole lot, so um, real key for us and. Uh, like I said, it was hard not to be excited today. The uh, the crowd and the atmosphere in this building is absolutely fantastic. Saucy Candrids, Islanders.com. Barry, um, Ryan Polk's obviously got a big workload trying to shut down the Crosby line and limit him, like you said. But just how much did you like his game? And it seems like he's playing with a little bit more confidence. Yeah, no, I, Ryan was uh, – I, I liked a lot of things about his game. He was really firm. His, he was making quick decisions. Um, you know, I thought his, uh, his exit passes, all those things were good. Uh, it was good to see him, uh, get a goal. Uh, usually it's a, it's an ap absolute, uh, cannon from the point and it goes through the goalie. Uh, that one, he sort of, uh, fumbled and he got rewarded because he's had a lot of good shots that, uh, haven't gone in. Um, one, you know, it was good for him to, you know, have one of those that maybe didn't get, get all of it and, and it sort of found its way in the net. So. You keep shooting the puck and keep going there, and uh, hopefully we'll have some success. Last one here, Alan Creator, New York Times. Uh, thanks, Barry. Uh, uh, the crowd, you mentioned the crowd at the top, but does it become a, a bit of a, a true sixth man when the team gets rolling on a game, game like this? Absolutely, and we're going to need them again. Uh, yeah, it, you know, the crowd is, is is a big factor in this building, and they got to continue to, you know, Give us the, the, the you know their their best. Uh, we'll give uh, we'll give our best. They've got to give their best, and they I thought they did today. So um, I even saw some of the Jets players having a uh, having a ball at a hockey game. That's always uh, nice. And we had some old Islanders, and uh, what you know what a what a great atmosphere. Thanks, Barry. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest.